Happy holidays, everyone. It's Rosie at Rosemary Name Co. I hope you're having um, a good day today and this whole week, and hopefully you open up lots of presents. Uh, we're finished uh, with that uh, for this morning, and I just wanted to uh, quickly get in here uh, just to get a little peace and quiet and finish off this collage that we're doing here, a collage roll. This is one I already finished earlier. It's all sewn up, and... Uh, so we'll now uh, sew up this one and I just want to show you just how it runs to the machine and uh, just make some stitches on it so that later we can use it in our journals or on top of tags or however we would like. So for this one, let's put it in and uh, maybe start with a zigzag because um, zigzag is so much fun so let me just see i do have sorry i do have a uh, blue thread on here so it's a little bit contrasty but not too much i don't want to take away uh too much from uh, the rest of the color scheme here it's already uh quite busy so it doesn't need uh, too much anything contrasty so let's just see if it, this will go through now it, anytime you feel something might be stuck it's okay just uh get it down a little bit and uh, we'll try again if my machine will work let's see uh, okay, make sure this is down I'm not going to go right through here. I'm going to try and leave some space for writing if that is uh, what you would like to do. So I'm just going to go across. I don't know if I want this in here maybe or leave it on the other. You know what? Let's leave it over here. This one I do want a little bit more down, so let's see what's happening here. Uh, just a little bit flatter. If you feel safer, you know, you don't have to stick your fingers in there. So you can also use uh, the scissors. Okay, so we made one run down. And we're just going to go back up in zigzag, and then we're going to go again uh, with a straight stitch. Oops, we got cut up a little bit. Let's just put that out. And we want to go this way. I do want to catch this a little bit. We run off course, it's okay, just uh, let's get back on it. Okay, I'm gonna go around this one. And put this one back down a little bit more. There we go. We're done uh, one run through with the stitches and as you can see it uh, went through quite nicely and still leaving us uh, space here to see what it says or if you want to write on it or see the picture and so on and we're just going to go through it again uh, with a straight stitch just to get these fabrics and fibers down a little bit more uh, so they're not you know lifting or possibly you know lift off altogether so just going to do it once more. Okay, so we're now on straight stitch and I'm just going to go around again. Just gonna 
go a little bit this way. And back this way. And back again the other way. But it's not even necessary to go this many times. I just, I like sewing. So I just want to keep on going. This will be enough as far as sewing and uh, you can see in the back all the stitching that we did and well it looks lovely to me it's just fine uh, so if you happen to you know be using it somewhere and you see the underbelly of this uh, collage roll it's still fine too and everything is pretty well sewn on I think that um, probably not too much that will actually fall off or anything so I'm going to show you now how I would sew it on to a pocket or a journal tag as well so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to show you how I might use this collage roll or snippet roll, clusters, whatever it is um, that uh, you might want to call it. So how to use it maybe on a tag and in on a pocket page and another pocket page over here and so on that I've yet to sew up. I haven't uh, finished it yet, but I did start it. And um, just the page, I got a little bit of writing on here, so I might put it right on top and still use this page. It's still perfectly good. And then uh, how to make a sideways pocket. So I am going to actually cut this and let me see. First one, well, it just might go with this brown right here. And I would cut it probably right across and put it on here and sew it up a little bit just uh, just a little line across and it will stay just like that you can still write underneath it and let me see uh, a little bit more in the center up to you if you're going to use zigzag or straight stitch I'm going to use straight because there's quite a bit of zigzag already and we're going with this straight stitch here as well. Okay. And I don't back stitch or anything. It, I mean, this is paper. It stays pretty well. It's not usually a problem. Now, you can snip off all these uh, leftover thread or you can leave it. I do like to leave it. It just adds more um, to the character and now adds a little bit of something you can still write underneath and cover it up it still adds a little bit of something uh, to this page other than just the lines by themselves so that's one let's put this over here and then uh, this one which is um, actually a pocket thing it has three pockets here so i'm going to put on top of one because we still have two left over i'm just going to continue with uh, exactly how it is here it does seem to um Fit them perfectly. Now, I don't know, you could put it right into the pocket and leave it for somebody else to put it somewhere, right? Wherever they might need it. Or you might want to put it right around here. And let me see, we're going to go this way. And put it right this way. And in this way, uh, we have a pocket that we could actually put something on top of this. So you can still add something inside here and then put something that, so that's like a tip-in or a tuck-in. Um, and it just looks beautiful. I love it. So that's another one. Then let's see on this one. Well, let's go with this one. It just seems to be uh, just right as far as colors are concerned and the theme. It seems to be fine because we already have flower and we already have a busy map over here. So this is just for writing right here. And you might want to put it right on top, but I do like this area and I like the way it looks. Um, you could put it into a pocket and leave it again. Or 
let's just um i'm going to put it right over here on the side and just sew it in i'm going to leave it a little bit more this way so that uh, you can see the fringes on the back side let's sew that up we're gonna go straight up on that seems to be stuck a little bit let's just move it around. there we go you know sometimes when you're sewing on paper it's not always uh, smooth sailing but for the most part let me see it did catch on it'll be fine so this is uh so when this is going to be closed um and you can still put a pocket in here i mean you can put you can still put a tag in here and um behind here i can decide later on then let's go with this one here where we're just going to put maybe two on top and then we're going to have left over let me just see so if i put two over here like that and then i would have three left over which might be just enough to make a pocket here so yes let's go with this one okay and uh, we're just going to you can make a belly band on this yeah let's make a belly band on this one so i'm going to go with zigzag stitch for this just to hold it down a little bit more and on the other side as well So for this one, when you put it onto a page in a journal, you're going to have a belly band and then you can put something inside this way. Let's go with this one like that. And it will hold it. Now, if you feel that it's a little bit too loose, which I'm thinking might be a little bit loose and whatever tag or something won't be quite this large. So I might uh, put a, another zigzag stitch in here. Or maybe I'll go with regular because... That area has so much zigzag already. So I'll just go this way. Okay, so I just stitched it up a little bit more so it's a little bit tighter. So when I put something in, it won't fall right out. So this should be pretty good. This is called a belly band, and um, that would go into a journal, and you could put something in this way. So that's that one. So on this last one, it is a journal page altogether. And uh, just to show you, uh, the belly band would go, for example, on top of this. And then you would put something inside. Or it could be a page by itself, just as well. Now over here, we're going to make a side pocket. So this fits just so perfectly in here. And um, I like to always leave a little bit in the back so that on the sides here but in the back of this um, collage roll as so that you see this and it hangs over a little bit on the page and just looks so pretty like that so just to keep it down and now first of all i need to see how far uh usually i like to put a dab of glue so it holds it down a little bit better just go this way okay and I'm gonna see where that is at because I can't quite see on the back let's see let's go this way a little bit further up here it looks like If you come a little bit upwards here, that's fine too. And you might even want to sew right across here. Let's go with zigzag just so it holds it down a little bit better. And we're going to go in here and hope for the best. Okay, let's see how we did with that. Perfect, it did catch on on the other side, and we still have 
quite a bit of um, catch in here. So you might be putting in a tag and it would uh, look like that. And probably something a little bit more plain if you have a plain tag for this area because this is already so colorful and um, so textured. It's beautiful. It just, um, it just uh, shows off all the colors and a little bit more on the blue side or even pink side. So however you want it in your journal, it might be okay. Let's see, even if you put something like this or maybe even something like that, it would hold that as well. It's a beautiful collage roll or snippet roll, however you want to call it. So we made, um, we made the whole roll, which was um, almost the same size as this one. So we made it into a side pocket and sewed it onto a pocket that we'll put into the journal and a tag and a belly band and another pocket page. So um, I hope you had fun uh, completing this collage roll binge and come back again for uh, more from Rose Banenko. Rosie saying goodbye. Take care. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.